afternoon, Robert Stribler filming from Boilers here over on Pea Island for an evening OBX wave report. And we've got some uh, one foot waves, maybe a couple of two footers coming in off the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, again, another small day here. Uh, if you did surf today, you're looking for sand and for some favorable winds. And, uh, you know, we did get some of those. Both in Nags Head and in Rodanthe and uh, probably down in Avon as well. Uh, right now, the wind's uh, picking up from south and then they're expected to um, turn around to the north late, very late tonight and it's tomorrow. So we're expecting uh, strong northerly winds and uh, once again the changing conditions as happens in the other banks. We get very changeable conditions here in the other banks. Okay, so um, let's look at the breakdown divided by the wave model, models, the uh, wave monitors, the National Weather Service and spot observations by yours truly here on the coastline in the other banks. All right, and so right now at Nags Head, we're looking at um, one foot plus relatively clean. We got some south winds uh, chopping things up a little bit. We'll call semi-clean. Uh, swell coming in and out of the east-northeast still at about 1.1 foot and 12 seconds. Uh, winds still blowing from the south and the west uh, about 13 miles per hour right now. Air temperatures today got up to around 70. It was a beautiful day today here in the other bank. Ocean water temperatures in Nags Head around 62 degrees Fahrenheit. We had a low tide this morning at between 8 and 9 a.m. And high tide this afternoon at around 2 p.m. And looking forward to another low tide around the next night. For Rodampi, we've got uh, one foot plus waves and uh, fair to clean conditions. We're going to be swell at one point. And 12 seconds. Winds out west southwest at about 14 miles per hour. Air temperatures also got up to around 70 degrees right now uh, in the mid 60s. Ocean water temperatures 55 in Rodanthe and at Boxton, one foot plus and fair to clean conditions as well. We've got an east northeast swell at 1.7 foot and 6 seconds. Winds out of the southwest at 10. Ocean air temperatures today also around 70 right now in the upper 60s. And ocean water temperatures at 57. And last of all in Frisco, one foot and chum. For today we had um, some pretty decent surf on if you're looking at small surf. One to two foot, fair to clean conditions, high of around 70, clouds and sun with those southwesterly winds blowing. For Monday on tomorrow, one to three foot, choppy early and then fair to clean later. North winds at 10 to 16 miles per hour, expected to shift more westerly throughout the day. Colder tomorrow with highs in the low 50s. On Tuesday, Choppy to fair early clean later, one to three foot, with northwest winds shifting more and more westerly at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Air temperatures in the middle 50s, sunny conditions. And on Wednesday, zero to one foot and clean with southwest winds at four, nine to 14 miles per hour. Highs near 60, clouds and sun. Last fall on Thursday, two to four foot and choppy with north northeast winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour high, around 50 cloudy conditions. All right, so thanks for joining me for this session of the OBX wave report as we look at waves breaking over here near the boiler of the Oriental on Pea Island. Uh, if you had a fantastic day today, hopefully uh, got into the water, enjoyed something. 
And as I always do, I'd like to ask you guys to please do everything you can to help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning. Those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms, ocean heat waves, and ocean acidification, the primary solution to the climate crisis at this time being the rapid deployment of clean energy and rapid, rapidly deployable forms of clean energy at present are wind, water, solar, and electric vehicles. If we do rapidly deploy clean energy, we can protect our coastlines uh, from ter terrible impacts and give ourselves uh, some time to do all the other infrastructure builds and sustainability work that is needed to confront the climate crisis. All right, so thank you for joining me for this session of the OBX Wave Report on March 17th. If you guys do find some waves this week, and I will be back with